friends so here in this problem we have to find out the inverse z transform of f of z equal to 1 upon z minus 3 into z minus 2 if the region of convergence is z less than 2 now what is the meaning of region of convergence so region of convergence is the area where we get the set of points or set of values of z in which the z transform exists or z transform is convergent so let's see here if value of z is less than 2 then here we will never get 0 but as soon as z becomes 2 we will get 2 minus 2 0 and once it is 0 then the answer will be infinity and that time we say that z transform diverges similarly if z becomes greater than 2 that is let's say 3 so 3 minus 3 0 again we will get infinity again z transform is not convergent so at this condition whatever points that we are getting are the points or are the values of z where the z transform converges so to understand this region we will draw it now mod z is equal to a we know that it is a circle with center at origin and radius equal to a so here i'll draw it now let's say this is a circle and its radius is equal to 2 so a is equal to 2 so mod z less than 2 is nothing but a region inside the circle because inside this circle the radius will be less than 2 so in this area we get set of values of z for which the z transform will be convergent now to find out the inverse z transform of this or to find out the original sequence we will separate the given function so to separate this given function we have to use partial fraction so here i'll say by partial fraction we will get f of z as 1 upon z minus 3 minus 1 upon z minus 2 so here i am writing this partial fraction directly you can verify it by doing the cross multiplication that here we will get z minus 2 minus z plus 3 so z and z will be cancelled and 3 minus 2 will be 1 and the denominator will give us z minus 3 z minus 2 so if you are not comfortable with this direct method then you can perform the partial fraction by using the formula a upon z minus 3 plus b upon z minus 2 and then by solving and finding the values of a and b you will get the same answer so here i have separated the functions now since mod z is less than 2 so this is the region of convergence here i will start so roc is mod z less than 2 that is z by 2 must be less than 1 now since z must be less than 2 then i can say that z must be less than 3 so here we will get z by 3 must be less than 1 now if i want to find out the convergent series from this inverse z transform then i should consider these conditions so z by 2 less than 1 now to bring this value z by 2 here in the function i will take 3 common and 2 common from two different functions so here i'll say f of z will be 1 upon let's take 3 common so this will be z upon 3 minus 1 and here we will get 1 upon 2 common z upon 2 minus 1 now let's take negative sign outside so this will become 1 minus z by 3 and minus 3 outside so here i'll write is equal to minus 1 upon 3 1 minus z by 3 similarly here if we'll take negative sign outside this will become plus and here we will get 1 minus z by 2 so it is plus 1 upon 1 minus z by 2 and that 2 is outside so now we have to solve this function or z transform and let's get the inverse z transform of from this so 
for that i'll keep minus 1 by 3 as it is and i'll take this bracket in the numerator which will become 1 minus z by 3 inverse plus 1 by 2 1 minus z by 2 inverse now to get the value of this bracket we will use the formula so we know the formula that 1 minus x inverse is nothing but 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x raised to 4 and so on so here we will get is equal to minus 1 by 3 in bracket 1 plus z by 3 because x is z by 3 plus z square by 3 square plus z cube by 3 cube and so on similarly here we will get plus 1 by 2 in bracket 1 plus z by 2 plus z square by 2 square and so on now let's take this minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 inside the bracket so we will get minus 1 by 3 or what we'll do is we'll keep this minus n outside and we'll just take 1 by 3 inside so we will get minus outside in bracket 1 by 3 into 1 1 by 3 plus z by 3 square plus z square by 3 cube plus so on and here somewhere we will get a term z raised to k upon 3 raised to k plus 1 because this power of 3 is 1 greater than the power of z so here if we get k then here we will get k plus 1 similarly here we will get plus 1 by 2 plus z by 2 square plus z square by 2 cube so on and here also we will get z raised to k upon 2 raised to k plus 1 term now the question is why I am considering these terms in the series so for that let's see the definition of z transform so whenever we find the z transform of series f of k or sequence f of k it is summation k from negative infinity to infinity f of k into z raised to minus k so if we want the z inverse of this function then we'll shift this z to other side this will become z inverse of this series and the answer is f of k so it means our question is to find out the value of f of k now to get this value of f of k if you see here then f of k is nothing but the coefficient of z raised to minus k term and to get that coefficient we should find out the z raised to minus k term in this series and the coefficient of that z raised to minus k will be r f of k that is the required inverse z transform now if you observe both series then in the series 1 we did not get z raised to minus k term but we got z raised to k term so what is the coefficient of this z raised to k term it is 1 upon 3 raised to k plus 1 or i will say it is 3 raised to minus k minus 1 so let's start there again so here i will say from first series we find coefficient of z raised to k is equal to 1 upon 3 raised to k plus 1 which is equal to okay so here i have not considered this sign if you'll see here then this negative sign is also there so when we'll take it inside so that will become negative 1 upon 3 raised to k plus 1 which is minus 3 raised to minus k minus 1 where k should be greater than or equal to 0 so now we got the coefficient of z raised to k but if you will see the definition of z transform then f of k is nothing but the coefficient of z raised to minus k and for that we have to find out the coefficient of z raised to minus k and for that what we will do is 
we will substitute this k as minus k so here i'll say therefore coefficient of z raised to minus k is equal to minus 3 times minus 3 raised to now when i'll substitute k as minus k this will become positive k minus 1 here we will get minus k greater than equal to 0 now whenever we represent the range we consider the variable as positive so let's consider it as positive and for that we'll multiply throughout by minus 1 so this will become positive k greater than equal to will become less than equal to and 0 will remain 0 so it means the coefficient of z raised to minus k is minus 3 raised to k minus 1 for k less than equal to 0 so we got this from first series similarly we will go in the second series so in the second series you can see that the coefficient of z raised to k is 1 upon 2 raised to k plus 1 but we have to find out the coefficient of z raised to minus k so let's start with coefficient of z raised to k and then let's convert it into the coefficient of z raised to minus k so here the coefficient of z raised to k is 1 upon 2 raised to k plus 1 so here i'll say therefore from second series we find coefficient of z raised to k is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to k plus 1 which is nothing but 2 raised to minus k minus 1 for k greater than equal to 0 now if we want to find out the coefficient of z raised to minus k let's substitute this k as minus k so this will become minus minus positive k minus 1 here we will get minus k greater than equal to 0 now since we want this variable should be positive in the given range we will multiply throughout by minus 1 we will get k less than equal to 0 so here we got the coefficient of z raised to minus k as 2 raised to k minus 1 now if we will take it together then we can say that therefore the z inverse of f of z which is nothing but f of k or which is nothing but the coefficient of z raised to minus k is minus 3 raised to k minus 1 plus 2 raised to k minus 1 for k less than equal to 0. So this is the value of inverse z transform. Thank you.